Thanks, Jill. I'll just start by thanking Jill for all her help. Um, you are looking at a fairly nervous presenter. I have a lifelong fear of public speaking, but uh, I realized last night you all are not the public. <laughs> You're my sangha. You're my heart. So I'm a little nervous, but that won't kill me. <laughs> um, I did script what I'm going to say, and I'm hoping that I don't have to look at it, but who knows? It's an adventure. So uh, I did a little uh, trip in the Wayback Machine uh, to, to consider what I wanted to present today. And um, I've been working with Joe uh, since 2005. And I looked back at some of those early retreats and I remembered uh, how much he relied on the poetry of uh, the Sufis. Um, Rumi in particular, but he also used Hafez, Tagore, uh, Rabia, and of course there was a lot of other poetry too, uh, which was all new to me, um, but it worked. And so that's who's going to help us today is Hafez. Um, I'll say another word about um, my early experiences with Joe, I was in a really hard uh, place in my life. Um, I had a really stressful job. My uh, relationship with my now husband uh, was really on the rocks. And um, I had an alcohol problem that I really had never addressed. And um, an aunt and uncle who functioned as parents for me who were aging and they needed my care and love. And so basically I, I was falling apart. I had no spiritual practice. I had a, a brief visit back to the Catholic church in the early 2000s. Um, but then I met Joe and um, his early teachings, early retreats focused on Buddhism with a smattering of uh, um, a Hindu, um, Islam and uh, Jew, Jewishness, and um, boy, I really blanked on that word, but, um, <laughs> and uh, thank you for laughing, and Christian, he would throw uh, a little dose of uh, Christian in there, uh, and so I glommed on to Buddhism um, like it was a lifeline, and, and it was, and it set me on the path that I am uh, still on, so I'm not quite as ecumenical as Joe, but um, it's all one river. Um, the truth is the truth. Um, and so the first poem that I'm going to read uh, kind of speaks to that. Um, so the, the Hafez that I'm using today uh, came from uh, Daniel Ladinsky's uh, book called The, the Gift. And uh, Joe used that uh, most retreats that I was on. And uh, these poems are renderings. Um, I learned much to my chagrin about a week ago that he did not actually translate these, that they are renderings of other translations and that they maintain the spirit of Afez uh, without being quite so literal. So they speak to me and I talked to Joe about this. I said, well, you know, are they authentic? And, and we both agreed that they were. So that's the versions that I'm gonna use. Uh, all of these are widely available on the internet. So um, I can make it easy and send you um, the documents, the word documents I created to read from, or um, you can look for them on the internet. Let's see if there was anything else. Oh, I wanna thank Julie especially uh, because this week I used, uh, right now it's like this, may I be at ease. I'm not sure if Julie is on the call, um, but that was, that was most helpful uh, too. So uh, this poem kept speaking to me, although I'm not gonna read the entire one. Uh, because it was the first one I ever remember Joe reading. And um, I think any of us, and I see several faces, 
that are familiar from those early uh, retreats uh, will recognize this. You have not danced so badly, my dear, trying to hold hands with the beautiful one. You have waltzed with great style, my sweet crushed angel, to have ever neared God's heart at all. So we're gonna use the same format today as other heart to hearts. This first section will be um, content fo focused on Hafez and then we'll go into meditation. And then the last section will be listening. Debbie, yes. would, you, would you please read that one more time? Oh, sure, sure. Thank you. And I will do that on the longer poems. I'm planning to read them twice and then we'll allow about four minutes in between um, for reflection and if so if you think you uh, want to uh, make a note of any phrase or word uh, for the listening portion of the call you can uh, get a pen and paper handy um, so this poem you have not danced so badly my dear trying to hold hands with the beautiful one you have waltzed with great style my sweet crushed angel to have ever neared God's heart at all. So if everybody wants to make themselves comfortable, uh, we'll start with some breathing, just the way Joe taught us, in through the nose and out through pursed lips. Let's do three or four. First poem is, now is the time. Now is the time to know that all that you do is sacred. Now, why not consider a lasting truce with yourself and God? Now is the time to understand that all your ideas, right and wrong, were just a child's training wheels to be laid aside when you can finally live with veracity and love. My dear, please tell me, why do you still throw sticks at your heart and God? What is it in that sweet voice inside that incites you to fear? Now is the time for the world to know that every thought and action is sacred. This is the time for you to deeply compute the impossibility that there is anything but grace. Now is the season to know that everything you do is sacred. Now is the time to know that all that you do is sacred. Now, why not consider a lasting truce with yourself and God. Now is the time to understand that all your ideas of right and wrong were just a child's training wheels to be laid aside when you can finally live with veracity and love. My dear, please tell me, why do you still throw sticks at your heart and God? What is it in that sweet voice inside that incites you to fear? Now is the time for the world to know that every thought and action is sacred. This is the time for you to deeply compute the impossibility 
that there is anything but grace. Now is the season to know that everything you do is sacred. Fez speaks again. This what's called lousy at math. Once a group of thieves stole a rare diamond larger than a goose egg. Its value could have easily bought 1,000 horses and 2,000 acres of the most fertile land in Shiraz. The thieves got drunk that night to celebrate their great haul but during the course of the evening, the effects of the liquor and their mistrust of each other grew to such an extent they decided to divide the stone into pieces. Of course, then the priceless became lost. Most everyone is lousy at math and does that to God, dissects the invisible one by saying, by thinking, this is my beloved. He looks like this and acts like that. How could that moron over there really be God? Once a group of thieves stole a rare diamond larger than a goose egg. Its value could have easily bought 1,000 horses and 2,000 acres of the most fertile land in Shiraz. The thieves got drunk that night to celebrate their great haul. But during the course of the evening, the effects of the liquor and their mistrust of each other grew to such an extent, they decided to divide the stone into pieces. Of course, then the priceless became lost. Most everyone is lousy at math and does that to God, dissects the invisible one by thinking, saying, this is my beloved. He looks like this and acts like that. How could that moron over there really be God?
of his speaks. This one's called With That Moon Language. Admit something. Everyone you see, you say to them, love me. Of course, you do not do this out loud. Otherwise, someone would call the cops. Still, though, think about this, this great pull in us to connect. Why not become the one who lives with a full moon in each eye that is always saying with that sweet, sweet moon language what every other eye in this world is dying to hear? Admit something. Everyone you see, you say to them, love me. Of course, you do not do this out loud. Otherwise, someone would call the cops. Still, though, think about this, this great pull in us to connect. Why not become the one who lives with a full moon in each eye that is always saying with that sweet moon language what every other eye in this world is dying to hear? Okay, um, we can move into meditation uh, mode now. You all can take whatever position you normally take. Jill.